Hello everyone, Benny here, and in this video we're going to be going over a bit more about um, D flip flops. Now I can turn that into that full black mystery box we went over in the last video. And hopefully this is going to be the last video that we do that is purely just instruction, and everything else in the series can be just us building the computer. So yeah, so first off, let's break apart the D flip flop. We can say that this thing has three components. That's the RS NOR latch. It has these free NOT gates, which act as sort of a decoder, which turns converts one value into something that an RS NOR latch can take. And of course, since we know that the RS NOR can take it, that means that it can be used as a value in memory. And we have the sort of section that's underneath it. And that's sort of the writing function that enables us to choose whether or not this decoder is going to work or not. And that's basically the three components that makes flip flop work. And if you want to compress this as small as it is, based purely on this, you get sort of this. This is the flip flop design you see on the Minecraft wiki. And this is a good design. It's small, it's fast, and if you want to use this design, here you go, this is what it looks like. You're free to use it. It's great. But I like things as small as possible, and to do that, we need to think a little bit more abstractly. So first off, let's start with the decoder. Now if we remember, the, the his is the order of inverting our th inputs, and it's sending that into an RS null value. Now the really the key thing here is the fact that it inverts it, and just like I've told you, in the video about the XOR gate, I cannot tell you how valuable it is to have the inverse of something. So if I do this right here, we sort of have this sort of squiggle that works as an inverter. It's sort of compact, it's only too wide, it will be tileable, because I could have this exact same thing like this and they wouldn't cross over. You get the idea? So that's great, so we've compressed this sort of system here. We're going to need a different system controlling it, of course, but well, that's beside the point. Now let's compress the RS NOR latch. Now this is already pretty small, so you might be wondering how we can make this any small. Well, if we want a too wide system, because that's sort of where this is going right now, what we can do is we can do a vertical system. And I think I... oh crap, I think I accidentally left my game on normal. Oh no, never mind. Sorry about that. Just false alarm there. So, what we can do is we can build a vertical version which is basically this. And this is still an RS normal edge. I can put a power here, flips it, flips it, just like normal. But we already have the design here, so how can we make this work? Well, one way is we could just sort of make this a little bit bigger, because the smallest design isn't always the best design. We could t if we take, um, excuse me, the value sort of like this, we have, and we sort of move it over instead of just having it directly like this, we can sort of get this, which works exactly the same way. This is input 1, this is input 2, flips it, flips it. And this is also compatible with our system here. So we can do exactly that. I'll just put it over here for good measure. Well, now I'll just keep it like this for now. And there we go. So we have what may or may not actually work as an RS NOR latch. Excuse me, a D flip flop. You know that has an RS NOR latch. So, theoretically, we do have this system and we do have this, so does it merit? We put this? No, it doesn't. But maybe it's already working as a D flip flop, so if I power here and power here, no, that's great. That's what it should do. If I unpower it, it's still holding the value. Now, if I unpower it again, it loses it. And this is where this thing gets a little bit tricky. You might think, oh no, this doesn't work. I need to do more to it in order to make this work as a D flip flop. No. And I'll show you why. As long as this value is on, then it's holding it properly. Because right now it's holding the zero. And right now, if I turn it on and I disable that, even though I don't not powering this section anymore. As long as this remains powered, it holds the value just like it's supposed to. 
So, how can we make this wire always be powered and still have the input? Solution. Repeater. This is where our input can go, and this is where the uh, wire is sort of powering itself can go. Now, I have noticed a glitch with the design. I a redstone glitch. It's nothing to do with the design, as far as I can tell. And that is, you have to put a repeater here, or this doesn't work. I have yet to figure out why that is. I'm 97% sure that's a glitch. But, if we just bend it over like this, sort of the system, and get this, then that should work as a flip flop because now it's always powering it. So, if I send it now, it's holding the zero, and here's our input, and I can just use levers to make this easier so I don't accidentally do that. I'm going to do this. See, it doesn't do anything. If I store a one, and unpower it, you see, it doesn't do anything anymore. So this is doing the exact same thing as this big complicated mess we over here, except it's a lot smaller. Because this is basically all we need. And I recommend you go ahead and do the old... Th this copy... I'm going to paste it, paste it to make sure you got everything. And I... Excuse me, hang on. I didn't get everything, the reason for that is... Oh, I got turned off rain. Hang on a second. Might want to. So basically, you might want to go ahead and, you know, copy it. And you know, hang on. I think I did the exact same thing. So okay, I'll do it like this because I don't think there's any other way to get the bottom. Uh, so I'm sorry. I have to destroy this temporarily. And ah, dang it. I'm sorry. One, two. There we go. This should finally copy. I'm sorry about all the technical difficulties I just had with copying something. It should not be that hard. But to copy, fly over here, paste. Good, it's working. Now you can save this out as D flip flop or whatever you want. I already have it saved out, so I'm not going to. And yeah, so there's your D flip flop. But I said in the last video that we're going to go ahead and add the magic read sequence to this. So, how do we do that? Well, if you remember from the ALU video, we already did this. We need to invert it because, remember, the inverse of a value is incredibly powerful, and invert it again. Now, if we do this, which may look like a D flip flop at first, but it's not, I can send power to this like this. If you recognize this, you should, because this is a muxer. And this basically gives us the option of whether or not we're going to get the value out. So right now I have a zero, so if I send power here, I get the zero, which is perfectly acceptable since that's what we expect. If I send power here and write a one to memory, because that's what it should be doing since that's the right command, and send here, I get a one out of memory. So this is what the big mysterious black box in full redstone implementation looks like. And I don't recommend adding this to your selection when you save it out, because we'll be doing this in a sort of special way, which you'll see. So there you go, there's a deep flip flop design, and this design was done by Lauren Swain, by the way. I did not come up with this. So, and, um, let's see, is that everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything in this video, so... This hopefully will be the last video where I'm just sort of going over concepts, because if you can understand everything we've gone over so far, you basically understand all the things that are going to go into the final computer. So. The rest of the videos should be us just constructing. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the the series leading up to this point. This is definitely a landmark, I guess you could say, a milestone in the series. And as after the next video, we should be just straight on building through till we get to the end. So, thank you. See you in video eight.